All right, so now is the final three ranks. You know, we did C, we did D, C, and B. So now let's go up to the to the last three. So I can just scroll all the way up right here. I think we should be good enough in the. Okay, there we go. Now we have A, S, and double S. These are the last three. Now understand something. A, their rank is completely based on the fact that they are very powerful fighters, but they to say that they're comp like we can't keep relying on plot armor here like we got to be reasonable you know what i mean and again i understand the backstories of some of these guys so they're not beating you know other people so uh, whether it be the backstories of their own abilities or not the backstories of their abilities but the downside or the the, the history of their abilities um there's not anything that lets me know that they're capable of beating anybody higher than this. So we're just gonna leave it there. So first things first. Um, I wanna switch these around though because I should have put Uryu at, at A rank. U Uryu should have been A rank. I mean, thinking that he still has the powers of the antithesis, but at current time, I think that ability Matter of fact, Yuha didn't take that ability away from him because he probably still has it. Now that I think about it. Yuha never took that ability back. Because Yuha got killed toward the end. Obviously, I mean, you know eventually that's going to happen. I'm not really spoiling anything. But it's how he dies. That's a big surprise. But, um... Yeah. Yuha... You I never took back the powers of the antithesis. So Uryu still has it. So never mind, he belongs there. Technically, he still has it. So we got Ichigo. Um Damn. Can't remember the name. Genjo, Genjo, that's his name. You know, him and Ichigo are kind of like hand in hand, kind of, in a sense. Ichigo is like stronger than he is, but he's like around the same power as Ichigo. Well, was, but, um, you know, he was the first substitute Soul Reaper, I guess you would say. But yeah, Ichigo, but he's right up there with Ichigo because he still has a considerable amount of fighting power. And I know it was everybody surprised that he actually got admitted into Soul Society uh, after he died. So, there you go. Then we got Shinsui, the former captain, the current captain commander. Dangerous man. Very dangerous. But, um, he is somebody that is strong, but against all these other people that are up there, he's not competing with them too much he's not he's not as much as i would like to see it happen he's not <laughs> you know he, he lost his eye dealing with somebody who was weaker than those guys so you know yeah he's not beating those guys um then we got ukiora very powerful indeed he's definitely an a rank but against these other guys he's not even you know he no nah at all not at all then we got Hitsugaya did I call him Toshiro earlier oh whatever that's his name anyway but Hitsugaya his Bankai alone no his true Bankai which y'all are gonna see is very dangerous so he belongs up there with the A's Miyakia um good as well but he how can I put it he's an extremely he's powerful but he's not stronger than 
the guys that are above him. You know, same thing with the next guy. I know he's like a Kuchki. He was from, I don't remember, like, was it a filler arc? It was the filler arc. It was the Beast Sword arc, I think. Um, he's strong as hell, but he, uh, you know, he's not lower than an A, but he's not higher than that. Uh, Yorichi, real good. But she's not higher than A. Then we got Yami, Grimjow, Rukia, same reasons. Next up, we got three of the. We got three of the zero divisions up top. Let's see. Okay, first up, we got Kirinjin, Tenjiro. You know, real good fighter. Um, he showed some promise during the fight, you know, because eventually they fight Yuha and his uh, Shostafen, the All the Zero Division, because Yuha's going there next to confront the Soul King. But uh, he has a very useful ability. That can save people. You're gonna see, but he's definitely up there. Uh, next, Hikafune, dangerous again. Um, all these people, uh, Oetsu, Crazy Sword, Sunju Maru, for the same reasons. You know, all a part of the Zero Division. Uh, Yachiru Unohana, excuse me, Retsu Unohana. But at this time, she's Yachiru. Last time we seen her, Yachiru. She went back to her former name, first Kenpachi. Dangerous, very bloodthirsty. Um, activated a Bankai, but doesn't really reveal what it does. Uh, then we have the another Kenpachi, Kuriyashiki, who was a, a Kenpachi sometime after her. But um, what's funny enough is that Kuriyashiki, he was actually supposed to be a member of the Zero Division. It's just that he turned it down. He turned down the offer from the Soul King because um, he didn't give any significant. He didn't make a significant contribution to the Soul Society like the other ones did, which got them admitted. It's just that he was just powerful. The thing that made him so dangerous is that his Shikai was just as strong as other people's Bankai's. So that's the thing, you know, like Gaga Cairo, uh, his Shikai, very powerful. And just as strong as other people's Bankai's. Um, then of course there's Kenpachi Zaraki. S rank alone. You ain't seen his Bankai yet. So you have no clue why I put him there. <laughs> Yamamoto. Extremely dangerous. S rank Bankai. Can't be used in the Soul Society. Unless under extreme conditions. Basically same thing with Kuriyashiki. His bon with Kuriyashiki his Bankai like creates a mouth as big as a surate swallows up everything besides himself and um it can't be used in a surate at all and even then when he does use it it takes six months before he can use it again that's how strong it is uh, but yamamoto very powerful that should be self-explanatory ask the asculin i mean asking dan navarre uh, he's an annoying person you know he has the stern uh, he has the script of D for the death dealing you know his ability is called lethal dose you know he can control the lethal he can control how lethal or non-lethal a substance is um, that hits him and the person that is connected to so let's say if he drinks somebody's blood, he can make his, his their blood extremely lethal to him to where it'll kill him. Or if he gets hit with a powerful attack, he can analyze the Ryatsu and make it a healing thing now to where it doesn't even damage him anymore. So he's a very dangerous. Then we have Pernida. Pernida, who is Stern Ritter C, the compulsory. And the funny thing enough, he's actually the left hand of the Soul King itself. Like he's the, actually the left hand of the Soul King. So that's crazy. But 
he's his ability allows him to shoot his nerves out into organic and inorganic objects and control them. So that makes him dangerous. You know, we got Drew Grimhoshwaltz, Yuha's right hand, um, and somebody that takes control of the almighty abilities as far as being able to predict the future. Um, which makes him dangerous in that regard. And then his script is Be the Balance, where he can just absorb the good fortune or bad fortune and then flip it and basically cause good fortune or bad fortune to happen on his behalf. So he basically tips the scales of balance. A very dangerous person. I forgot who this was. I forgot who the name of it is. I can't even look him up. Um, but I do remember seeing that he was one of the strongest people in the history of uh, of Bleach. So if that's what I think it is. Then we have Hikone. Hikone and, and Ikomiki Domoe. These two right here, you probably don't know about them until you read Can't Fear Your Own World. I'm not, I can't fear your own, was it can't fear your own world that they were in? Or was it like spirits are forever with you? It was one of the two light novels, but Hikone is basically a doll that was made to control Ikomiki Domoe, who was a primordial hollow and so powerful that I think Ikomiki Domoe, I think destroyed Hukemundo in its entirety at one point. Like he was the most dangerous hollow that existed he was basically a, a god hollow or as close to a god hollow as he you know god level hollow as he can be if there was a such thing but yeah he um extremely dangerous but uh somehow he was able to get absorbed into a zombato and considering that he's so strong only certain people can handle him that has mixed heritage you know, like Ichigo, if Ichigo had the sword, he would be able to handle it because he has multiple level, multiple kinds of Riyatsu in him, um, as well as Hikone, who basically is a doll that was created to control that sword. And that makes Hikone extremely powerful. Um, then we got Kisuke Urahara. Pretty much got the ability to weaken or strengthen anything with his Bankai. You know, reconstruct it as he sees fit. You know, he's basically a surgeon. Then we got Uryu, the ability of the antithesis that basically is basically like a Uno reverse card. He can reverse anything that happened uh, between two people. So that makes him dangerous right there. Now the S ranks, the S ranks are basically, you know, most of these are going to be obvious for those that do know. Some of you that don't know who you just watched the anime, you don't know shit. So, for sure, we got the leader of the Zero, Zero Division, Ichibe Hiyosube. His ability allows him to cut the power of something in half or completely change the power level of anything. Um, you know, he has a paintbrush for Zanbakuto that uh, allows him to... Anything that he strikes, he can um, change the strength of it by cutting the word in half so for example arm he can change it to r and weaken you know it only becomes half as strong or what is bankai he can um change the name of something completely so let's say your name was zach right he can use his bankai cover you in black ink change your name to ant and you'll be just as strong as an ant like an actual insect you know, so that makes him dangerous. Not only that, but he's able to control his body at a very, very high level. And what I mean very high level, it's been times where body parts were actually cut off. You know, I'm kind of spoiling something that happens in the blood war. But it was, it's been times where body parts will get, uh, will get cut off. And he'll just reverse it because he has control over his blood and his body that much. To where... It'll just, you know, reattach itself as if nothing happens. So he's a very dangerous person. Next up, we got Sosuke Aizen. His Riyatsu alone makes him a threat. I'm talking about his Riyatsu alone. It makes him real dangerous. Uh, next up, we have Yuha himself. Has the power of the Almighty. Um, he can not only see the future, 
but he can manipulate it at will to where it can benefit him in present time. So that, that makes him dangerous. Now, Soya Asha Zero, he was the guy that beat Kuru Yashiki for the title of Kenpachi. Now, of course, Soya Asha Zero was beaten by Zaraki, and Zaraki got the title. But the reason why I got him in, in double S rank is because of this. The backstory of him was that he, his Zambato appeared to him in Bankai state already. He didn't, he never had a Shikai. And if he does, he haven't discovered it yet. So it's the exact opposite of everybody else. You know, he started off as the, his sword started off in the strongest form. But another thing about him is that his Zambato allows him to fuse with his surroundings and it could take anywhere from a few seconds to like years right and at this present time the last time he was alive uh because i think he got killed in the story i'm not 100 percent sure i think he got killed but um he was able you know after a number of years of being in a serite he was able to connect portions of his body to soul society now mind you when i say fuse with his surroundings anything organic or inorganic and you got to understand how you have to understand how talented that ability how useful that ability is like for example he connected his ear to the entirety of serite to where he was able to listen on conversations that are happening anywhere like his ear his hearing he connected it to the entire serite so that's to give you like an you know as well as his body so he could like step to the left and just disappear and appear on another on another side of the serite you know what i mean like it ain't nothing so that's how dangerous his ability is um he doesn't have to move for anything to really happen you know that's as long as his bond kai is active and he is so dangerous right now mind you the zero division they don't come down for nothing they don't come down to the soul society for nothing because they think that's the go to 13 job to defend the serite be it, that being as it may this dude was such a threat that the zero division had to come down and basically beat him they had to come down from their duty from Garden of Soul King and basically beat him because that's how much of a, a, a danger he was. So I, I encourage anybody to read um, Spirits Are Forever With You to get the backstory on on Soya Asha Zero. He deserves a double S rank. Then we got Gerald Valkyrie and Lily Barrio. These two motherfuckers just don't die. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. These two motherfuckers just don't die at all. The amount of damage that these two motherfuckers take during the blood war. I mean, I don't want to give out what happened, but y'all got to understand something. These two motherfuckers don't die. They do not die whatsoever. Gerald Valkyrie, you know, he's one of the few Storm Ritters that didn't get his ability from Yuha, but he still got a script. He's Stern Ritter M, the Miracle, but he's the heart of the Soul King. You know, the Soul King has his hands in everything. You know, his left hand and his right hand are actual living beings. His left hand is a Quincy Pranita, who was an S rank, um, who I put in the S rank, and Gerald Valkyrie. No, I'm not going to talk about what his right hand is. I think that's one of the bigger secrets of the Blood War. I'm, I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave that one alone. Within the next two episodes, you guys, within the next four or five episodes, you guys should, that, sh that information should be revealed. But, um, but yeah, Gerald Valkyrie, he's, uh, he's the heart of the Soul King. And no matter how many times he dies, he's going to come back to life. Same thing with Lily Barrio. It's like he has a different form for every time he dies. He comes back in a different form. He is a dangerous, dangerous person. Now, what may surprise people is that Shinji is up there in a double S rank. Now, some of y'all don't know, 
but Shinji's Bankai was revealed in the Ble in the Bleach Brave Souls video game. And it would make sense why he didn't use his Bankai during the Aizen fight in the fake Karakura Town arc. So his Bankai, I don't know the name of it, but or I can't remember the name of it because it's like a long name. But his uh, Bankai uh, basically covers a large area of effect with the only area not being affected is the small space that Shinji is standing in and like this almost like this flower like structure kind of like grows up underneath him and kind of covers him up and prevents him from being affected by it um, but anyway what the, what the fumes from that flower does is that it turns everybody against each other around him you know, it turns friends and a f friend into foes. You know, foes into friends. Um, and basically causes a ton of havoc. To where everybody around them basically gets affected by it. It's unavoidable. So, if anybody smells that 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 scent that comes off of the flower from his bankai, they basically, you know what I mean, get affected by it. So, it would have been chaos if he would have used it during Aizen's fight because all the Aizen people would have been fighting fighting each other all of the Gote 13 would be fighting each other you know what I mean it, it would have just been chaos so he couldn't use it but his Bankai alone gets him up there on top of the fact he knows how to fight well his Bankai alone gets him up there it's considered banned by the by, the, uh, by Soul Society And um, and he can't use it in Soul Society because of how dangerous it is. Same thing with Kuriyashiki. Same thing with Yamamoto. Even though he used it, but it was an emergency. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Bleach 2022 Tear Maker list. Forgive my lack of enthusiasm and energy, but I am kind of tired. So I'm going to call it a night. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you'd like to see more of these, make sure to follow me on TikTok for the live chats. You know, I didn't even talk to the people. I apologize. It's, it's like 25 of y'all in here now. But um, y'all stayed for the whole thing, man. And uh, I appreciate y'all. So see, you guys understand. You know, I wish there was a way I could show the chat on this. Maybe I'll find out next time. But that's my tier list. Let me Let me know what you guys think. Um, forgive me if that I messed up in that last part because I was just talking about him. I didn't scroll up too far, but yeah. Let me know if you guys agree with the tier list. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace. Remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat. Show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. I'm out.